<laughs> Why my forehead looks so shiny? Okay, so I am terrible at YouTube, but it doesn't mean I'm gonna give up. Um, today I'm going to start tearing apart the black G that we bought for a parts car because that thing I don't want in the in the yard. I have too many cars, uh, too many projects, and that one, I already know I'm getting rid of it. So I'm gonna eat some food, and then I'm gonna go out there. I'm gonna hopefully pull the motor out, and if not, then I'm just gonna pull some accessories off and uh, yeah, get as far as I can tonight. Throughout the week, I'm gonna tear that thing down as far as I can. Hopefully recycle it this weekend, but I'm also going down to Oregon, so we'll see. But I, uh, this is some content that I needed to get done because then it just motivates me to clean stuff up and get rid of one of my cars. Probably a good idea. So I am thoroughly confused. I didn't post it, but I changed the math on this thing thinking that that was the issue. In which I think that it's related to that but now i think it's more related to um i think it's more related to the cooling system because it only has issues when it's warm when it's cold it idles fine but uh i think i have a video of it i just never posted it uh, i'll post the video here And it died. At least I'm in, at the house now. Um, I pulled it in and sure enough, it just choked and died. But I did a burnout out there and it was fine, but it wasn't yet to fully operating temperature. So I'm not sure what's going on. going to see what happens when I leave it running for a little bit. As you guys could probably hear, um, there was a misfire when I first started it up, um, but now it seems to be running pretty fine. Uh, I have a few ideas of what it could be, but I just haven't ordered the parts yet, so um, hopefully this week I should order the parts and be able to test things out. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Time to move the Silver G out and then this guy in somehow. This is going to be real fun.
So, first of all, I don't know what that is, but it's doing something. I might go drive it just to see how bad that thing really is. But, pretty sure, pretty sure I figured out what the issue is on the 240. Um, I had it idling. I unplugged the, uh, I unplugged the O2 sensor and there's no change in idle. Usually what that means is when you unplug a sensor or some sort of component and no idle change, no rev change or whatever, usually what that means is that it's already dead. Like it's not working. So what that means is I have to order a O2 sensor and uh, depending on how much that is and where it is, I can get it in tomorrow and maybe, maybe I'll drive it down to Oregon this weekend. I don't know if I want to get stuck or not, but I do have AAA, so I guess we'll see. This is what the black G35 uh, sedan looks like right now and it's a rat's nest. Um, I think somebody just cut like the headlight housings. I don't know who did this, but they also painted the, um, the front cover. You can literally see a bunch of spider webs and stuff. So I'm gonna tear this out, wash it up, and make it look as clean as possible to try to sell it. But if not, then I might just have to give this thing away or just try to part out as much as possible. But supposedly this VQ is good. Supposedly that one in the silver car back there is bad. So if anything, I could just take this one out, refresh it a little bit, and then put it in the silver car. That being said, I need it out and I don't want to pull it, but what I'll do is I'll at least prep it so I can pull it tomorrow, hopefully, or sometime during the week. So I'm not going to film any of it because that would be way too extensive, but uh, this is what it looks like now. And I will show you guys what it looks like by the time I'm done with it tonight. So I actually got kind of far. Um, kind of depends on what you call far. I only worked on this thing for like an hour and a half. But uh, I'm going to get back at it tomorrow. Hopefully pull it tomorrow. The crash support actually comes off of these things. And I was unaware until my buddy AJ actually told me about it. I looked at a few bolts and sure enough comes right off so that came off heater core hoses obviously radiators off i never knew how to disconnect ac line so that might stay for a little bit but um the harness is almost routed all the way there's a few more lines down there but they should be okay from underneath sabrina's pulling off some trim and uh, this shit should get ready to pull tomorrow. This is gonna be an adventure. Big motor, small hoist. Uh, I don't know where this video is going. I don't think I'm gonna put any of this in here because I'm just babbling. Hopefully I can source out an O2 sensor and then put that into the 240. If I can find one local enough and it's not too far of a drive, I might even just grab it tomorrow and drive it. Um, I was doing a little bit of research and I found out that the O2 sensor is going bad on that um, can cause this issue. And it's basically during idle, it's not at operating temperature and it doesn't really register the exhaust, uh, the right exhaust air fuel ratio uh so it kind of just like autopilots until it's warm now that being said kind of explains where i'm at with you know a weird misfire and wanting to die but i also had it running unplug that sensor and no change which means that typically that means that whatever sensor you unplugged is typically not working at that point so I guess we'll figure that out. Hopefully I can get one tomorrow. If not, well, I guess it'll have to wait 
till probably next week but at least i'll get some progress on this thing and uh i guess i'll see you guys tomorrow hopefully i can get this taken out and video up tomorrow um that's going to be the main project and then the rest of this thing is going to be bare bones and it's going off to the wreckers i don't know if someone wants it they can have it I mean, obviously for a few bucks because the wreckers are going to pay me money for the metal but i will see you guys tomorrow like comment subscribe and stay tuned for more thanks bye